James Nesbitt is a seasoned star of television and film. Being the role of Bofa in The Hobbit marked a massive breakthrough in his career and he instantly became a household name in Hollywood. But despite his fame and accolades, he mainly credits his hair transplants for his success. So what method was used for his surgery? And how did the results shape his professional career? All of this and more in today's video. Hi, I'm Janos from Hair Palace Hair Clinic and as a patient coordinator I have accompanied the treatment of more than 1,500 patients in the past five years. Today we will take a look at James Nesbitt's hair loss journey. The actor fell victim to male pattern baldness at an early age. He started off his career with long and luscious curls, but sadly his receding hairline quickly ruined his handsome aesthetic. His hair loss became more and more apparent as his hairline kept moving further back, which led to a significant increase in the size of his forehead. The actor said that he began to notice hairs appearing on his pillows around his early 20s. This process only seemed to accelerate as time went on. James became increasingly worried about the impact this may have on his career. After all, your looks and appearance are two of the greatest assets of yours as an actor. By the time he got his lead role in Murphy's Law, we can clearly see that his hairline has moved to stage 4 on the Norwood scale. His crown is thinning heavily and his hairline has receded significantly. It's important to note that James's condition is not uncommon. In fact, nearly all adult males will experience some degree of hair loss throughout their lives. Many see it as a natural part of growing older and accept it, while countless more struggle to do the same. Nesbitt is among the few that refuse to accept their genetic limitations and he decided to take things into his own hands. Nesbitt has actually opted for multiple procedures to cover up his thinning areas and the results speak for themselves. But before we jump to the end result, let's take a look at the complete timeline of his surgeries. His first surgery took place in 2008 at the prestigious HRBR clinic in Dublin, Ireland. Although he didn't go into detail regarding the type of procedure he had, he likely opted for an FUE hair transplant. This is a much less invasive procedure than the outdated FUT method, which leaves a large scar across the donor area. With FUE, there is no visible scarring and the final result looks seamless and natural. The first notable change in his hairline was seen during the 2010 UNICEF Gala at Old Trafford. The actor seemingly had newfound hair growth and his temples were much less sparse than before. James admitted that he had a second hair transplant in a testimonial video released by HRBR in 2013. While he didn't specify the exact date of his second transplant, it's safe to assume that it was carried out a year or two before the video was released. He also shared that he's using minoxidil and finasteride to maintain the results. Nesbitt said he was quote-unquote very pleased with the results as the surgery restored his confidence. Sadly, despite his happiness, the result of his second procedure was short-lived. His hair loss was so severe that he had to undergo three additional surgeries. He had a revealing interview in 2017 where he announced that he just had his last surgery. The actor said that his hair transplants had a positive impact on his career prospects as well as other areas of his life. Altogether, the Northern Irish star reportedly spent around £100,000 on his treatments to win the battle against the hair loss. It is common to have multiple hair transplants, though having five or more sessions is relatively rare. Nesbitt had his procedures phased out over 10 years as his hair loss progressed. He had to undergo more and more surgeries to keep up and refill the areas. Overall, it is perfectly normal to have more than one surgery. However, as the donor area has its limits, it is essential to have each procedure carried out by an experienced professional. It is crucial to harvest only as many follicles as needed to preserve the rest for potential future surgeries. When celebrities like James Nesbitt open up about their personal experiences, they can help others going through the same thing. Hearing or reading about Nesbitt's positive results can inspire them to take action and find a solution. A man might start looking into the practicalities of hair transplant for themselves and discover if it's the right option for them. Another benefit of celebrities being frank about their own experiences is showing that it is normal to struggle with hair loss and to look for a solution. Choosing to undergo a hair transplant is a big decision, but we are here to make the process as simple as possible. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week so you can take a look at success stories 
and learn more about hair restoration methods that can help you overcome hair loss once and for all. Thank you for watching.